Hi guys. <laughs> yeah, you saw the title of that video. The title of video today is Quere Quere. Ask me what is the meaning of Quere Quere. South African call us Quere Quere in South Africa. I'm going to explain to you. Today I'm going to yap South Africa. If you're in South Africa, come here. But don't take it personal. It's a joke. If you're a South African or you're a Zimbabwe watching this video or you're from Southern Africa, this morning I want to play a joke on you guys. Don't take it personal. You are my brother. Okay? <laughs> so, South Africans, query, query, if you're in South Africa, those of you who are in South Africa should know what I'm talking about. If you are, if you've lived in South Africa before, you are going to hear the South Africa saying, I'm a query, query, I'm a query, query. I'm going to explain that to you. But first of all, you can call me a pimp. I don't care the way I dress this morning. Like, I'm not an American. I'm an African dressing like American music artists. Yeah. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> you remember this? How many of you remember this? Yeah. Correct Nike. You see that? I'm a pimp, man. Before I go into narration, talking about query, query. Let me first talk about my today na yapo. Monkey no fine, but in mama like him. <laughs> Some people say I know fine, I know fine. I know say I know fine. But I still love myself. I got to pimp myself to look nice. Yeah. So a lot of you don't know what the what is the meaning of pimping. Pimping is just pimp yourself to look nice. Just make you know, you pimp a car, you can pimp your car and rede redesign. Let me call it a redesign. When you talk about pimping, you mean you redesign things, you can pimp a car. If you are in America, um, you'll be familiar with people pimping women too. They pimp women. Uh, that's another story. In America, there are men who they call pimp. They took women, give to other men for money. So they call them pimp. <laughs> they, they are the ones who control their life. Anyway, in my own case, I am my own pimp. I am my own boss. Yeah, I pimp myself to look nice. Don't, don't, don't play, man. Don't play, don't play. <laughs> don't play, don't play. <laughs> oh, boy. Nah, make, no, make my phone no spoiler. I never get money to buy a new phone. Anyway, good morning. Where are the South Africans? Hey, fool, hey, fool. Where are South Africans? Mfu, hey, too. So, for those of you who have been... If you have been in South Africa before, I believe... When I say query query, you are not going to be, it's going to be familiar to you. If South African call foreigners query query. It's a, it's a word. Actually, it's not really a bad word. That word comes from Zimbabwe. There's a city or a, a town or village called query query in Zimbabwe. So, South Africans adopt this query query thing. When, uh, to call the foreigners, especially with the Nigerian. Do you know why they call Kwere Kwere? Kwere, kwere means kwe, 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 That means the language they speak, you don't know what they are saying. So they call you Kwere Kwere. <laughs> you understand? I'm going to block this guy right away. No, 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 no. The first person I block you, brother. Don't come here and tell me free Palestinian on my platform. Block the idiot straight. So, right now, I'm going to be talking about South African query query. You know, right there in South Africa, uh, 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 we don't like to hear that query query in South Africa. You know, say, hey, Emuna, Emuna, Mfuetu. Bruh. You know, I speak, I speak a little of South Africa. I don't they forget South Africa where I want to speak. Oh. Yeah, it's called Brayaga. When they say Brayaga. Uh, I want to, I want to, I want to talk to the South African. Like I say, I want to yap the South African. I don't want it to be personal. If you're a South African watching me, please don't hate foreigners. You understand me? Please don't hate foreigners. A foreigner who did not commit any crime to you, don't hate. Don't generalize the hate. That, there's one thing I saw in South Africa. I said it's going to be a yapis and it's going to be a joke. If you're a South African, please don't take it personal. I'm talking to you as your own brother. I'm not saying even in Nigeria, Nigerians don't. Uh, in my in Nigeria, we don't hate for we don't hate 
foreigners that much, but there are going to be few people who are going to hate foreigners. There are Ghanaians in Nigeria. And I know because of the flock of Nigerians coming to a country and try to dominate some communities, it triggers hate to some people to, to an extent. You understand? You see them flourishing and doing well. Don't hate. Don't hate. As it is right now in South Africa, uh, when they see some foreigners uh, actually making it in life, they want to like, feel like they, these people are actually dominating them. So uh, uh, you don't have food to eat, uh, you don't have job, and these foreigners are actually doing well in your country. No, don't do that. I want to talk to South Africans. Try to communicate with us, line with us. Not all of us are, big, are criminal in South Africa. My coming to this country, we've helped a lot of South Africa migrating to come and make money. Not everybody make money illegal. There is crime everywhere. There is crime in South Africa. We have South Africans who came here and commit crime. We have Nigerians who come here and commit crime. I'll tell you about a lady who, 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 who trafficked women down from South Africa to Israel and ask them to pay like twenty thousand dollars he's bringing them all the time to israel he put them they, they do a shower they, until it was she was apprehended by the secret uh, police do you know what she's dead right now she's dead not because they kill her she first sick in the prison they want to take her to court they say she has hiv she's not taking her drugs she refused to eat she gave up Israel, they are not going to put that blame on every South African. Since that lady was trafficking a lot of people coming to Israel and take them to Jerusalem, he take them to Jerusalem, rent a place in Jerusalem where she actually lodged them there, paying a lot of money. White men are sleeping with them. Israel did not label all South Africans the same. There are a lot of South Africans here doing things. So I want you to take it, take it into consideration. Don't because of somebody else or your friend hates foreigner. Or maybe a foreigner offended your friend. Don't allow your, the enemy of your friend to be your friend. I used to say this when I was in South Africa. A lot of, a lot of you need orientation. A lot of South Africa, please, I said, don't take it personal if you're in South Africa. A lot of you still need orientation. Why I was doing my business, somebody is asking me, I want to work for you. You want to work for me with this little business that I'm doing? How much am I going to be giving you? Why don't you do the same business that I'm doing? Why would you want to work for me? You need to be your own boss. And this type of people, when they, when, if there's a protest of xenophobia, that guy is going to first, is the first guy that is going to attack me. Just saying. Foreigners in your country come to take advantage. They are Nigerians who are lecturers in South Africa. They are Nigerians who are nurses in South Africa. They are Nigerians, foreigners, Nigerians who are doctors in South Africa. They take advantage that you can't take. There are teachers who can teach mathematics and all that in South Africa. Yes, they are. You, you are, you are not educated. You can't have the job. You can't have an edu educated job. Now, I'm going to teach you something if you are South Africa. You see, whether you like it or not, Nigerians are the most clever people in Africa. I'm not talking about well-educated. Yes, Nigerians are educated, but when I say clever, we have suffered a lot. And we, we, we intend to go far to make money. We intend to do anything in a foreign land to make money. Things we can't do in our country to make money, we like to do it. I'll give you an example. When I was in South Africa, I can't sell apple on the street. I can't sell cigarettes on the street. I took the advantage. I could buy myself a car. First car, second car, third car. 
why some of you are roaming the street and begging for money say there's no job there's no job go and put a table somewhere and make money why i was doing this some south africa are coming please can you give me a job and i was like what is wrong with these people this is your country you can go to the uh, uh, the, uh, the metro office and get a license why the foreigners are coming to your country paying tax i got a license i was selling when the metro police come to the streets everybody is running away they don't get a license some of them don't want to even to pay they don't want to pay their their, ta their tax when i sit down everybody is, is looking at me when the police is coming everybody does scatter come out for street I'm, i sit like a king i sit like a king on my table and the police will come surround me i say where's your document i will probably just put hand in my pocket bring the document they say did you pay for last month yes i pay for last year i pay for this i pay for this where's the license i give where's the receipt i give and they walk away and these people are going to come and be asking me how did you do that how did you do that no go to the office you have to be paying your money regularly some of them they have a license and they are not paying and i want to teach some of you south africans also i'm sorry what i'm saying now is because based on my experience with you guys you don't know how to save money when you make money ah somebody will make money i'll tell you guys south africa go make money go chop the money finish within one week you go tell and say why you say oh I, I can die now when i die somebody else will eat my money is that a word do you wish to die now is that why you, you are not going to save money no you have to save money for the future you see somebody walking going to work when they pay you say no 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 no. i don't i want i want to finish the money then you come to beg money for transport me where i won't give you the money for what, what if you don't if you buy how will i get my money do you understand the mentality so please guys south africans don't hit us the way you feel inside the pain we understand the appetites and the pain it will take long to heal please don't let us play this uh xenophobia xenophobia is hot it's hot when you 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 take the hit i know not all south africans it's just a few ones who are bitter inside it's not our fault it's your government that can create jobs Af Af african government can create Af african government have failed you and i the african government failed you and i they failed me where i'm coming from that is why we migrate to south africa it's not a crime for me to come to your country as a brother and if i commit crime that does not mean that you should take the law into your hands people take advantage of these things and they destroy property belonging to the foreigner like oh quere 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 go back to your country god what go back to your country hey emuna emuna i'm for you one year and away now for take for take no don't you realize that we are one blood we are one blood please I, I, don't take it personal if you're a south african please try to sit down and learn if you see some good nigeria making business go to talk to them nigeria is ready to talk with you we are ready to negotiate to talk like oh brother um please i want to talk to you how do you how do you what how do you do this business we teach you and some of you are too greedy some of them you take them to business they are going to come at the end of the day to pay you serious please, please you guys will take care i'm not saying there are no criminals even in nigeria there are criminals everywhere as i speak to you there are criminals in nigeria i'm even afraid to go to nigeria but what i'm saying is this when you see us as a foreigner in your country try to work with us if you see that this person is committing crime you can call the police on that person there are people like us who do genuine business some of you when they tell you you must travel out of the country you say no 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 i'm not going out of this country uh, they are going to kill you no nobody kills you abroad the way you the, your, your mentality the way you think is not the way other people think outside you must go outside to work god cannot give you khaki god cannot give you a key to the house 
You need somebody to... You need your destiny helper. Let me put it that way. Somebody help people. You need somebody who is going to uh, connect you to your success. That person could be that Nigerian. It could be that Zimbabwe that you are destroying their business. It could be that Zimbabwe or Nigeria that you killed. You people should understand how these things work. You can go to church all you want. God can never give you a khaki. You need a Nigerian to be successful. I need South African to be successful. South Zimbabwe need me to be successful. I need Zimbabwe to be successful. That is how it works. My coming to this country, I have made a lot of South Africa see the, see the road. Hey, come to Israel. Uh, you are going to say, ah, no, you, you are lying. You are lying, bra, bra, you are lying. I can't make $2,000 lie. You are lying, you are lying. Who is lying? A lot of them have come. Some of you, even if they give you a job in South Africa, they pay you 10,000 shekel. If you test abroad, you will never. There are a lot of South Africans in America today. They are citizens of America. Even when they commit crime, they are not going to take advantage of other people because one South African commits crime. We have South Africans in Finland. If one South Africa commits crime, the Finland government is not going to take the advantage on others innocent one. Are you feeling me? A man who commit crime must be go must they must go after. Even your police are so corrupt. Your police and your police, yes, yes, South African police are so corrupt. And I'm going to tell you a story right now. Please, if you're in South Africa, don't take it personal. I'm telling you, you are my brother, but I'm just saying, based on my experience. One day I was driving my car. I was coming from Marabastad. For those of you who know Pretoria, I went to Marabastad to buy my to stock my market. So I went to see a mechanic to help me check something on my car. On my way back to my spot of business, somebody was signaling me from inside the bus that how much you know those of you who are in South Africa, you know. When we buy a car like that, we put for sale and put number. So the guy was signaling me, how much is the car? In a traffic. It's a traffic. So I left my pedal a little with my brake. He just touched this man's car like this. I, I swear down. Nothing was wrong with this man's car. But, you know, when I was trying to see that, so, you know, that kind of mistake that person made. The car just touched the man like this. The man came down. This man was ZCC. I they tell you how some South Africans are wicked to Af other African people. It's not good. I'm going to tell you this. This story, I can't forget it. It pains me in my heart so much. This man came out of the car. He asked me, uh, why did you hit me? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was, um, I was um, distracted. But there's nothing. I can't tell him there's nothing wrong with the car. He checked it. He said there's nothing wrong with his car. But I'm going to wicked you. I swear down, this man, I wait till you tell me. This man was a police officer, not on uniform or retired. I think he says he's retired. He showed me that he was a police officer that is retired. He said, I'm going to wicked you, you, these foreigners. Where did you get money to buy car? Me, where they sell sweets. I sell sweets, I sell chewing gum, I sell uh, chepis, you call chewing gum chepis. I sell all sorts of things, I sell teddy bears, I, tell, I sell secondhand clothes. I go to Joburg and buy and sell. I do all this and I make phone call. I sell movie on the street. This man told me on my face, I'm going to wicked you. I swear. He said, I say, he said, where did you get money to buy a car? I said, this is a second-hand car that I buy, I fix. My shop is there. He followed me to the place. I park my car. When I park, he park. Guys, did you know what happened? You get one paper where they did for motor, where we say the license have, uh, it, ha, it, it has expired. He told me this, your, this thing is expired. I said, yeah, I want to sell it like this. I don't want to get it, the, this thing. I just want to sell it. He said, I'm going to call the Metro Police for you. You see, I'm going to wicked you. I want money from you. He said, look, I'm a ZCC. He showed me the badge of ZCC. He said, look, I'm a Z the ZCC. For those of you who are in South Africa, you know what is ZCC. ZCC is a church. 
it's one church where we say they are like SU. You understand? You can Google that on social media. ZCC. Now, Nigerians are observing me. And you know, if I allow the Nigerians to come, they are going to fight this man. And I may, I may be in trouble. So I said, I told myself, I don't want a problem. He showed me, he said, I'm going to wicked you. You are going to give me money. In fact, I'm going to call the, uh, the police now to come and um, tow your car. He called, he called the uh, uh, Metro Police. This man called Metro Police on me. When the Metro Police come, they talk, 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 talk. The Metro Police now check on my car. He saw that it's, it's, it's uh, expired. He called me aside. He said, I don't know. My brother, what did you do to this man? I said, I didn't do anything. I just kissed him on the traffic. Then he went to see where I kissed him. I said, there's nothing wrong with here. What does that mean? This man want from you. Remember, he called me aside. He said, this man called us to come and tow your car. We cannot tow your car, my brother. You did not do anything to us. If you want to change the license, of course, it's expired. I told him I want to send it like that. So, okay, you know what? You can change the license. Let me give you address. Give you what to do. He write me everything. This Metro Police, two of them, there were two. He called, now, you know, when you call like that, they come, in, they come like many. So there were two different Metro Police that came with different cars. So one was talking to me. The other one was like, okay, since the other person is dealing with just keep quiet. So... He gave me the address and what I must do. That this man want to wicked me, that he doesn't know what to do, but they are not going to tow my car. So they went back to the man and said, they are not going, I don't know what the language they speak with him. The Metro Police left. This man demanded I must give him 300 rand. Very early in the morning. We are never sell low. I have to go borrow. Nigerians, people, Nigerians don't they come ask me, Solomon, what is happening? I say, no, no, no. no. Because when they come, you know, Nigerians, we are lousy. They begin to distract and the police self feel vex. You understand? So I never can tell what the man can do. And you know, sometimes those South Africans, they, they carry gun. That man fit bring out gun now, come scatter everywhere. So it's better just to leave it like I deal with him, like a man. I deal with that man like a real man that I am. Sometimes you have to sacrifice the Satan. When you see, when you see devil in disguise, God must give you the wisdom and way of fighting it out. So the Nigerians that are, that are around, I tell them, please don't interfere. I don't want the situation where I'm going to be in problem with anybody. So I borrowed money and gave this man before he left. That's not a good life. Don't hate foreigners like that. Don't. A lot of Nigerians have South African passport. They travel everywhere. They make the money and bring to South Africa. They take care of their children that are South born South African women. They take care of their wife. They, they end up establishing business. And some of you will become hate. Don't be afraid to travel to America. You guys go and get passport. I have talked to somebody in South Africa. Go and get passport. Today, you never get passport. How much is passport? How much is passport? Hmm? I want to sponsor the person. I'm the one to sponsor. Go and get passport. Till today, you never get passport. But hungry, they kill him. Hungry, they kill him. The last time I sent money to do something, <sighs> chop the money. Person, where no get money, carry money where you give and make it take help and do something. Go do birthday for in Peking. He carry the money. Why? Why he no give? Then Papa no do birthday for the Peking. Must you do birthday for your child? Do you understand? So sometimes you people need orientation. I'm sorry. You see, when you tell people the truth, they don't like it. The same truth I tell to Nigerians is what I'm telling South African right now. When you see Nigerian that is doing well, don't hesitate. Say, brother, talk to the people. Don't be so, don't, don't be far away. Your destiny helper may be that person. Ask him what kind of, what, what business, what do I do? Don't be afraid to travel. Nobody kills you abroad. There are a lot of South Africans that are American citizens right now. There are a lot of South Africans that are Israel, Israel citizens right now. Do you understand? They are making money. They have built house that you can build. 
you can't do clean at some of you at your age 20 25 you, you want to start doing cleaning inside how much did they pay you in south africa take your passport and move yeah? i remember one girl that came one of my south africa my friend nigerian friend that married south africa she forced that lady to come to israel when the lady came she was so happy she spent like two years she left the guy sent her to united to uk she went to uk now she, she went to dubai this guy was here say you people don't want to travel go and see other place sometimes you think your fatherland is more that is that beautiful and better than other people move and see when she left here she sent her to dubai she sent her to uk she came back to south africa that lady told my guy like i'm not gonna stay in south africa anymore oh it's nice to fly it's nice to go around now they re relocate to uk the guy also relocates with the woman and the children to uk where they are not going to have i mean of course there are crime in united kingdom i'm not going to say there's no crime yeah there are crime in the united kingdom even the crime in united kingdom is like almost like south african crime yeah they snatch phones snatch your watch in united kingdom too but that place is more greener than south africa you can make like three thousand pounds you do you know how much three thousand pounds in south africa do you know what how much is two thousand in south africa if you guys test outside you will hate your own country like i'm not saying you're going to hate your own country like that because africa is our home you are going to hate the african government when you see how you are treated outside i want you guys to test outside how it is test outside your government cannot give you everything you want don't take an anger of one criminal and begin to treat other people wrong hmm? if i commit a crime allow the government to treat me hmm? so i don't know if i have offended any south africa please you call me i'm a query query I, I don't care emuna i don't care about query query <laughs> query query is not a bad thing you you say query 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 you're speaking the language i can't hear at a at a point i begin to hate like hey query query uh, like why are you calling the query what's this what's the meaning of query query uh they can't even give me the meaning of query query or later i come to understand what it really means yeah south african are nice people yeah, a lot of South Africa are nice people, but the men are naive. I want to talk to the men right now, South African men. You people are so naive and unfriendly. Is it unfriendly? Yeah, you are unfriendly, like friendly. You are not friendly at all. South African men are not friendly with other people at all. It's few of them. It is few of them. Please, try to open your mind and be open-minded. That is... That's how you are not going to suffer. You are not going to suffer. Your ladies are open-minded. That is why they are many of them are they are doing great. Many of them are doing great. We don't need to love each other. Let us just respect each other. All we need is just respect. Hey, my brother. Yeah, I have many South African guys that are my uh it's very hard to have a south african guy as a friend too for me you understand it's just a distancing oh hello brother hello brother you meet in the party but there's still a pain i still i still i still i still, I still see pain somewhere in their heart like oh this nigerian this nigerian people this 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 nigerian people do you understand even here in israel they still they still kind of do that distance nigerian are one of the best people you can ever close through to and be successful i'm not saying other africans are not but we are at, we are like this ghana and nigeria uh, but nigeria like this we we are fast in we are fast in thinking we are fast in thinking what what next what can i do what next what do i do where do i go uh, we think fast i don't know if i make sense to you
You say you disagree that there are a lot of South Africans. Really? So you don't know? Wow. You don't know there are a lot. That's why you, you are not exposed, my brother. Vicky, you are not exposed, my brother. There are a lot. <laughs> a lot. Thousands of South Africa in Israel. Ah! You don't know. In America, in UK? Oh, my, no, no, no. My brother, you need to be exposed. Please, please, please. You need to be exposed. You understand? South Africa have gotten there. You understand? You people, yeah, they are getting there now. They are traveling a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. There are many of them in Israel. Many, many, many. Some of them are citizens, not many. Uh, even in uh, UK, they are citizens. And in America, they are citizens. You know? Let me see. I want to Google something for you, my brother. Let me see if I can get any uh, information here. Okay. How many South Africans? How many South Africans are living in Israel? Diaspora. Okay. Uh, Israel. Uh, okay. Let me see. Let me go. Uh, I, I get information here. I don't want to use this one. That's twenty-two thousand. I got twenty-two thousand. Let me see. Uh, I may not get this accurate, so I'm just trying to see not as how many migrate to Israel. I don't want the migration. Okay, immigrants. An average of 256 immigrants. It's so, okay, South African, yeah, yeah, uh, per year. Okay, they say every year, um, an average of 256 South African immigrants. They come to Israel per year. This is four days ago. This message come four days ago. So 11,381 South Africans were recorded as living in Israel in 2020. So this is four years now, 11,000. You understand? So how many South Africans migrate to Israel? Uh, wait, I don't see the thing. I'm no, talking about United Kingdom. Australia. Ah, uh, United Kingdom. Uh. So... My brother, don't sleep, don't play. Don't sleep, oh. Uh huh. They're plenty here. Okay? Both men and women. But the, the women are more. The women are more than the, the men. Because the men are afraid. Like, just like this, our brother is afraid right now. I'll tell you a story. I have a couple of drivers in South Africa that are my friends. They are drivers in South Africa. I'll tell you. They drive cars for someone else. Oh, you know all these bus, where did they play music for South Africa? Now what thing did they drive? And that car does not belong to them. When I migrate to Israel, there's this guy, he's very close to me. He they come pack in bus for my house. Carry in car, go home. Every morning he go come my place, come take the car again, the bus again. Guess what happened? I told this guy. Go and get a passport. Come to Israel. You are going to work for... At that time, if you want to buy a, a second-hand bus, he can buy like even three. He can buy, I say, he can buy like three or more. I told him, my friend, you know what? Go and get a passport. He said, how much is a ticket? I said, tickets and everything. It could cost you like 20,000 rand. He said, no, 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 that money is too much. 20,000 rand. So, so Soli, he called me Soli. Soli, so you use 20,000 rand to go that country? Why you don't use it to do business? Why you don't use the money to do like, uh, uh, I said, what's in the world? 
I now try to talk to him like, brother, when you come here, within six months, you can buy yourself a bus and you become your, I said, come and stay only six months. You are going to buy a bus, you go back and be your own boss. By the time you are driving that bus, you are the owner. You are going to buy more. Even if you want to buy a new bus, you can, you can work for 12 months and still have extra money. This guy, do you know what this guy told me? Say, ah, Sully, I don't want people to kill me. Ah, they are not going to kill me there. <laughs> that make me understand their mentality. Like, you think everybody is like you. Using xenophobic attack on foreigners. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't work like that. So a lot of you don't understand. Like this, my brother, Vicky. My brother, the only country I will ask you not to go is, um, that's going to be difficult for you is uh, Middle East. You understand? All these Arab country. Uh, uh, many of them, uh, uh, Dubai is okay. Dubai is fine. You can go to Dubai. But some of them are not fine. Yeah, some of them are not fine. They actually treat, actually they treat the women more bad. Do you understand? But in those kind of country, when you are working, they are not going to pay you well. They don't pay well in Arab country. There's no way in Arab country you can make $1,000. Never. Except you are professional. Maybe you are a doctor, nurse, then you can make more. You feel me? But as you don't have a profile and you want to go to there to do all this manual job, you can't make a lot of money. But you can start from Israel go to Europe but just make sure you ally with people who know what they are doing they teach you and they, they blend you together my brother Vicky I hope you understand now don't be afraid nobody kills you everywhere anywhere if you commit crime they push you they put you in prison just you alone South African and Israel they are having the government are having conflicts right South African take the Israel to uh, um uh cut to the court hi how are you doing okay. fine fine man. yeah have a good day yeah thank, thank you so uh that does not stop israel from allowing south africa to come in you see that so their mentality the way they act is not like us south africa took israel government to the court and if south africa want to come in they still open the door for them they are coming in even though sometimes it could affect some people sometimes they, they, they deport but that does not mean that they won't allow people to come because it's not you it's the government you as an individual you are not the government you know Okoye say this guy uh, is speaking English, but their mind is black here. Have parentive wicked and tribal. I don't know what the person you are talking about, but not everybody is. I don't know if you are responding to somebody. What's the name of this person? Okoye. I don't know if you are responding to person or responding to me. That my mind is black or that person. This is my message. Even that person where they where talk say they write or maybe they speak English. If you are talking to me, I'm going to respond. Let me respond to myself first. My brother, not everybody goes into crime. Okay, not everybody mind is black. You understand? Uh -huh. Mine, I play, I, I play plain. I'm talking to myself now. There are a lot of Nigerians who are good people. Forget say we they lousy. Forget that Nigerians are lousy. The problem of Nigeria is because they are lousy in South Africa. That is why they think that we are uh, 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 drug, drug, whatever in South Africa. No. I'm going to teach you guys what you don't know about drug in South Africa. Oh, God. You see, South African system is corrupt so much. That's number one. Two, Nigerians are so lousy in South Africa. The Nigerians in South Africa, what they do, they are so lousy. You they do illegal job, but you don't get business where so they take cover up. And they tell you now where Nigeria get problem for South Africa. 
you you no get shop, no business where you they take cover up. Where you don't do money, you don't get more money. Now so you go go club, go the open champagne. Now so they go carry women, go buy better car. They drive better car. Police they see you. The police are watching you. South African police doesn't act fast. They have to investigate you slowly, slowly, and see what you're what you're doing before they come to you. You could take them one year. It could take them six years. You may have made a lot of money at that time, and the day where they go catch you, they go catch you red-handed. Pakistans they do drug for South Africa. Nobody do drug leashes them. Eh? Um, these people, um, Elytra and uh, Elytra, which is Ethiopia and Elytra. This country, uh, Algeria, China, all of them get shot for Marabasta. All those shops where you they see for Marabasta, you think they're not waiting there. And you will never see them with a nice car. You only see them with all this old pickup. But they are into that business. Tanzania. Those of you are waiting there for Pretoria. You know, they see those Tanzania where they dress like drug addict. They dress like the drug addict and they are selling drugs with them. If you don't make him money finish, you go go home. Next day, you go dress like as a street boy. You never see him in the club. Or you buy a car, begin to flash, 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 flash. Where police go come, they look for him. I tell you the mistake Nigerians do. Once they get small money like this, they go buy a car. I don't see one way come. He came to South Africa not more than seven, one year. He called me. He bought a nice car. He said, Solomon, this business you're doing, come and do this business. Come and be selling this thing. You see me, I just bought this. I say, my brother, I'll be fine. Don't worry. I say, I'll be fine. She spoke to me more than once. She wants to lure me into doing that business. No, you can't. I'm not that type of person. I'm selling banana, apple, sweets, chippies. It's okay for me. I was okay with it. I, at least I, I was able to fund myself and buy a car. For myself, I do well to myself, for myself, selling those things. And as much as I'm doing that in, in the street of South Africa, people still hate me and ask me, where do you get money? People that are supposed to be my friend, the drivers, they're asking me, where did you make money? But every day you see me here. Eh, I don't trust you. You don't, you don't have to trust me. I know they carry my money, go carry women. I know they go club. Why can't I buy a second-hand car, for God's sake? Uh, is that everybody that bought a car is a criminal? It's a high time you South African begin to ask questions. We teach you how to make money. Slowly, how to save money. You have to stop alcohol. Stop drinking. Stop carrying women up and down. Carry here, carry here. Save money because, first of all, you grow yourself. When you save a little money, then you can expand your business, you upgrade. You can go now and open a shop. Maybe in your village, you open a shop, you stock it. Start from the city, start somewhere. Hmm? If, you're, if you're so close to Nigeria, we can borrow you money. I swear, you people, you people don't know how to deal with us. It's hard for us to see South African that is going to be friendly, friendly with us. If you take this person as a friend, he's going to betray you based on the hate in their mind. So please, for those of you who want to learn, learn. Hmm? Many of us in South Africa, we have brought our... Uh, yeah, I saw some people brought their, their, their wife, their wife, uh, their stepson, stepdaughter. They bring them here, like, come and make money. When they come... Hey, brother, how are you, sir? When they come here, they make... They, 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 they were like, wow. So now, like this, you're going to work, you're going to make the money. The exchange is the problem. The, what we're talking about, we're are talking about exchange. When you make the money, at the end of the month, you smile. You are able to buy a house. Cash. If you want to buy cash, you can buy a house car, you can build. You can even buy a car for yourself before you come back. You for four or five years, you are, you, are, you are okay. But the problem is, you are not going to be stable. You will still want to travel again. So thank you very much. I hope. Oof.
<clears throat> uh -huh. You say Okoye is talking about South African people. Yes, not all South African are bad. It's just influence. Some of them are good people, but because other people hate, they will just, they will just. Ah, you get one day where they fuck. Now people who I call my friend though, will be driver. One day the guy won't kill me. He remains small. I want to go to Israel. He remains two days where I won't come out to go Israel. Where I won't take come Israel. One Zimbabwe guy was passing. Then this guy kicked the in Zimbabwe. You, you get one stick with South Africa and the hole. We get head like this. This guy begin to hit that Zimbabwe. We say, you query, query. I, I woke up to him and said, why are you beating this guy? And calling him query, query. What did he do? A young man. You, an old man, over 50 years. You take a stick and begin to beat a young man because he's a Zimbabwe. He, the, the guy he was just passing. He didn't say anything. Or more, do you know what happened? This guy turned on me. He began to hit me that thing. But the other people join. When I talk about South Africa, I'm talking with experience. You people should change. Don't do things because other person is doing it. This guy turned on me and begin to hit me with that scam board. I'm waiting on scam board. I'm waiting on the collar. He begin to hit me. Oh, this guy want to break my bones. Other people they join him. They no ask him what did he do. But because I'm a foreigner, I'm, they must kill me for nothing. Guess what? One of the South African come to help me. When he come there, he ask the guy. Ah, this is Soli now. You know Sabi Soli again. Why are you beating Soli? I begin to agitate, the guy draw me back, say, no, leave him. They can change at any time. You guys are not good to do business with. Some of you, you are greedy. Some of you are greedy. When you see small money, you are done. I'm sorry, if you're a South African, don't take it personal. I'm teaching you how to change. Some of you, when you see small money, when you never see money before, when you see like, Maybe they do business together. I'll give you an example. When you do some business with them, they get like 10,000, 15,000. They don't, they, they don't want to come to that business again. They will never come. Until when they finish that money, then they will come again. If they don't find, they will, they will steal your own. They will come for you. Make I tell you my story. I'm telling, I'm telling you, South African, you people, some of you are wicked in mind. I sent somebody to school, a South African boy to school. He eat me school fees. Am I a South African? I want to help you to get some certificates. I went there and put you in a, in a diploma school. I paid half of the school fees. By the time you want to sit for your final exam, I want to go there and pay. I, no, no, I gave him money to pay. He didn't. I went there. The, he, the guy still follow me, go to that place. So they know the guy shame. He followed me, reached that office. I said, I want to ask you if he, this boy has paid the school fees. He said, no, he didn't pay school fees, but we allow him to do exam. Because of you come here, you speak nice like a good father. I said, I'm not being papa. I told the lady, I said, I'm not his father. He said, what? You are not the father, but you are doing this and he eats your money? I said, yes. The woman began to talk to him, say, ah, ah. There's somebody who is a stranger want to do this for you and you take the money, go drink beer. Now beer and... You go, you go take the money, drink. Be a weekend. Somebody that I try to give life. Guess what? I have to pay the school fees again. But if some of you South Africans see me, quere, 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 hey, xenophobia, now me, you go first one. Life is not like that. Don't judge everybody same. Make I tell you another story. Some of them are lazy. Give them a job, they run away. They, I don't have many times they carry my money around. The house, the house I'm building in South Africa, they run away with the money many times. Uncountable time. Give him the money, he give you a quotation. Yes, only the Zimbabweans are doing well in South Africa. This, all these uh, people that are con con contract, uh, uh, maybe the white people. Not all the South Africans, please. I'm talking about the experience that I have. When I give them job, 
they eat the money and run. Don't, don't, you give them part of the money. For example, somebody wants to do a job and the job is 10,000 rand. You buy all the material. The material is there. You give him 10,000 out of 5,000 out of 10,000. You will never come back after that first day. You call, you switch off phone. He will tell you he's sick. It's, it's, it's unfair. It's not really fair. It's not fair. They do, they do it to me many times. Many times, not once. Until we found a Zimbabwe guy. Abi, let me tell you another story. Somebody went to do a job in my house for one week. All the money, could not do anything. Go and plaster the house. This is material. They never plaster anything. I mean anything, I'm, I swear. Only the garage, he cannot even plaster. He, and he stayed there for one week with his friend. All the money I sent, that place now, go go to the drink. The person that is in charge, they call him and say, where did you get these people from? Every day they are drinking. They, they are just coming here to drink every day from morning to evening. That's how they finish. How much did I spend that time? I can't really know how much, but I spent up to 50. Uh, don't let me talk about the material. Let me talk about the money. Maybe like 6,000 rand. They finish it that one week. They don't do anything. They still come to ask me for money. <laughs> uh, some guys are idiots. He said, please give us balance. Balance for what you do. They, they, they do nothing. And in fact, they don't plaster the house finish. So let me explain to you. The house has been plastered. It's just for them to plaster the garage. Where I can park a car. So that garage is what I asked them to go and plaster. <laughs> South African boys, you guys are Ufwe too. Emuna. One year. You guys are just something else. Seriously. Uh, no offense. No offense. I love I love them. I love them. Uh, they are playful. If you meet the nice ones, they are, they, they, the nice ones are more than the wicked ones. But South Africans just need orientation, honestly. The president think the same thing. Oh, South Africa, you, you guys need to change, man. The president think the same like the man on the streets. I'm sorry, guys. Your president, no matter how educated and how rich they are, they still think the same like this little boy on the street. This is the fact. Uh -uh. South Africa, where you go marry their wife, well, marry their child they will pretend say like they love you <laughs> ah i don't want to go there there's a lot of south african people 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 will understand what i mean those who marry south africa it's normally happen a lot their family will some of them they don't they just have hate for foreigners sometimes somehow no matter what you do to them no matter what you do today, you can build a house and do everything. But if you reach where they go hate you, they will still show you that you are a foreigner. In a bad way. Not all of them. Some of them, they give you their child and say, take care of them. When they see the future, they oh, take care of my child. They love you. They want to, they want to belong. With, they want to roll with you and everything. Many of them are like that. They are good. That does not mean that Nigerians' mothers are good as well. Our father and mother too, they have wicked ones. Okay? So if you're South African watching my video, uh, maybe some other time I'll tell you about Nigerians. Hmm? Uh, uh, though the Nigerians in South Africa is just a few ones who are into crime. It's just a few ones, there are not many. Please don't take those, don't take your atrocity to everybody. Yeah. Please take care of yourself, everybody. South Africans, I love you. Nigerians, I love you. Biafrans, I love you. Um, who else do I love? Zimbabwe, uh, Ghana, I love you. Ivory Coast, I love you. Um, Cameroon, I love you. Ethiopia, pa no, Pakistan is not in Africa. <laughs> I don't know what this guy is saying. If we're at Sakel, I know they hear with you, they talk.
So thank you guys. Um, I'm gonna go now. I don't sit down back. They pay me. Make me forget. Say I pimp myself. Oh. Forget. Say I pimp myself. Back still they pay me as I did so. As I sit down so now. I don't sit down for too long now. How how many? I don't start for how many minutes? I'm feeling pain. This chair now ordinary stick. There's no foam. And uh, fly they disturb me too much. Since when I see as I they fly they disturb me too much. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Does Israel Israel speak English? No. Israel does not speak English. They speak their language. They speak Hebrew. Okay, I'll tell you the two languages that is in Israel. Arab and uh, Jew. Uh, Ivrit. They call it Ivrit. Ivrit and Arab. That's the two languages they have. But they have now adopted Russia. They adopted Russia language because of the Russian Jew that's in the country. You like to marry South African woman. You go to South Africa, you're going to see them. There are many. It's not easy to from Nigeria to any country. Because Africa is Africa corruption and migration of uh, the flock of migration from Africa, it makes it difficult from uh, to us for us to travel that easy. Except if you have been traveling before, it's going to be easy for you to get a visa. So it's no visa is easy, except some few countries that are not too. Uh, those countries where we say money day, they day hard to enter. So, Mr. Make I begin to go I beg. Thank you guys. Holiday still go for Israel. So, peace. I love you all. Please, those of you watching me on my YouTube channel, please press the like button. You can share to your friends. This is uh, entertainment and reality show. Okay? And uh, for those of you watching on uh, Facebook, you can also press the like sh press the share all of you now i don't know how many people watching let me look here sir. how many people are watching me now oh oh 111 wow a lot of people please i want you guys to share my video did i entertain you guys did you love what i do please 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 share my video please 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 Share my video. <laughs> Don't worry, this thing is not money. I want to make money too on Facebook. This is not money. But this thing was bought for me by my... <laughs> yes. I love it. Okay, I think this one too. Okay, I take back what I said. I said I pimped myself. I was not the one who pimped myself somebody pimp me and that person is watching that person could be watching now send it, send this to me from america send this to me from america <laughs> somebody pimp me i appreciate you you know yourself i don't want to mention your name i appreciate you you pimp me <laughs> you make me look good Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> bye bye everybody